Yeah, I would like to welcome you to our um, weekly webinar, Trading Setups uh, for Volatile Financial Products uh, is uh, our topic today. And um, like normal at the beginning, here you see the um, risk disclaimer that these are not um, trading recommendations or advices. Um, and um, as everyone knows, maybe from their past, my name is Christian Walter. Um, I studied mathematics um, and um, I'm doing the trade station support um, in Germany since uh, 2004. And uh, mainly I am a coach for stock and option trading. So just a few key facts um, to, to me. Um, today we want to start with uh, the following uh, topics. Um, I think uh, everyone might know the volatility index um, VIX and um, as well the um, ETF on the volatility, uh, volatility index uh, VIX, what is uh, called um, VXX, uh, it's an ETN. Um, then the third topic will be uh, um, options, also like um, our risk reward um, um, ratio or ch chance uh, risk ratio also called and um, as well as uh, examples for the current markets. We have a few examples from um, yesterday. We can also double check um, what is available from the um, from the um, situation uh, what we have today in the market and also how you can link this maybe to your current stock portfolio with some examples um, what might be interesting um, for an existing um, um, stock portfolio. Um, first of all we will um, see this uh, here in our PowerPoint presentation before we later go to the uh, TWS and trade station to show you some details especially for the last uh, two topics um, I would like to present a few things here in um, in um, Trader Workstation and TradeStation. And also feel free if there's any question, we will have the time at the end of our webinar to discuss a few things. You can use the chat function on your right um, and also um, send any comment during um, the presentation. Uh, but as I mentioned at the end, we will have at least 10 to 15 minutes to discuss uh, if there's anything what you might know. Yeah, the volatility index VIX um, we have on the right hand side, maybe this is the first um, important thing if um, you see it here. This will be always um, the highest uh, price or the highest um, notification what we had in um, the current, um, uh, not in the current, but in the years you see here and also the lowest and later on we will see how is the situation in 2020 um, because we have seen already like um, prices what we had in 2008 for example. Um, you see 2018 we also had like um, here something what was almost up to 50. Um, the highest what we had in the last uh, month was uh, middle of March um, above 80 and um, yeah, you can see also years with really, really low um, volatility, what is um, in 2017. But let's come back to the um, definition of um, the volatility index. At the end, it shows you um, the range where the S&P 500 or how volatile the stocks of the S&P 500 are at the moment. Um, if we really go deeply in the um, in the definition itself, it shows the implied volatility, what you see here, of all option prices, um, of all option prices of the S&P 500 over the last 30 days. So, I mean, for anything what you need to know, it's just giving you an example how um, volatile all the stocks, because the um, um, implied volatility of an option um, is at the end um, the same what we will see here. Um, in expected fluctuation range of the S&P 500. But if we go closer and um, deeper and more detailed in the definition, it will always uh, guide you to the implied volatility of options of the um, um, 30 days um, in percentage points. So the ETF, I know maybe some of you um, attended our last um, 
webinar um, um, last week where we discussed a few things about ETFs, especially here for European Union uh, citizens, um, where this ETF, for example, is also not tradable, not for everyone. I gave a few examples how you still can trade this, and later on we will also discuss a few things um, here, um, how it's possible um, yeah, to be part of this. It's the last, largest and most liquid um, ETN for volatility. There are a few others also for other indices as well, like DEX, um, but um, the S&P 500 uh, um, volatility ETN is, uh, is the largest and um, you will see it. Um, there are the most options traded um, and it's really the most liquid um, thing what you can trade at uh, any market regarding volatility. It's calculated from the future, from the RIX future, what we've seen earlier. I think the formula and how it's uh, um, exactly defined, it's nothing what you need to memorize. Uh, it's just important that uh, in a long-term trend, you will always see um, um, it's going down. At the moment, of course, we have a really high um, 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 market, the high price for this ETN. But if you look into it for like a long term of period, um, what we can always um, say for sure, volatility and normally um, if, it go, if it's going up, it will always go down um, and it will reach a certain um, level, what we will see later in the future on the index uh, VIX itself. Um, it's just important to know a few facts, um, how, how this, uh, how we can participate um, from these two things and how you can maybe use this for your trading setups or you can also use it what is uh, very common to protect maybe your um, stock portfolio against situations what we had now in March, what we still have at the end um, because the, the um, uh, volatility will stay um, high, I think, um, before it really goes back to a level what we had maybe in 2019. Um, this will definitely take a few more uh, months. It will not go down so fast uh, to a level what uh, what you've seen maybe in the past. Yeah, how can you participate uh, with options, for example, of this um, high volatility environment where we are at the moment um, almost at every stock market? Um, there are a few um, option strategies where you can um, yeah, participate of a um, high volatility regime, what we are seeing in the market at the moment. For example, um, short put or put writing, you will also um, see in a few descriptions. Um, because um, um, an option is always uh, um, calculated from time and um, inner value and also the implied volatility. And as the implied volatility is uh, very high at the moment um, and you might buy an, an, an option, you will always pay, uh, pay a higher price than maybe uh, four or five months ago. So um, to make a use of this high price, um, you always... Um, um, I don't want to say um, are better um, when you are selling options, but especially if you want to invest in a certain stocks um, at the moment and you don't know, is it already cheap or will it maybe go down a little bit more, then um, short put or put writing is um, really something um, what will give you the benefit of the high implied volatility and maybe also a, a lower um, price where you can enter um, this stock, for example. And the same after you um, have this uh, stock or this stock is in your portfolio, um, you can have a covered call. It's the same, um, it's the same principle. Um, you just sell a call option on an existing stock. It's always important here um, that one option, maybe I will uh, put it uh, below, one option is equal 100 stocks. So it doesn't, it's just working if you really want to buy a minimum 100 um, um, stocks. Same for the covered call, you must have at least 100 um, stocks in your portfolio or 100 shares that you can uh, open um, a, covered, a covered call. Um, otherwise, uh, for lower amounts, it's uh, not possible to use options um, yeah, in connection of your um, stock portfolio. Um, with the short put, um, if someone already is having some knowledge about um, options, uh, it's always like you 
choose a strike price, for example, um, you want to buy, um, yeah, we can later make an example uh, if you go back to the TWS, but um, to come back to this um, two credit call and credit put spreads to st uh, option strategies here. This are, I think, uh, very important at the current situation, what we see now at the market, because it always gives you like um, something what you really need at the moment in the market, um, uh, fixed calculated uh, um, ch chance risk um, ratio, because um, credit call means always you have like a long and a short call or a long and a short put, if you go back to credit put spread. And um, this is like, um, something what is important because um, you know your maximum risk and you know your maximum uh, chance at the beginning and also here i will give you later some example what makes this uh, maybe a little bit clearer and uh, easier to understand um, because uh, we might not know um, how deep um, a stock can fall at the moment and if you want to buy it for um, let's say 20 dollars um, and it's going down to 10 um, you should always have like um, yeah, some airbag, some safety, uh, I will call it like this. And this uh, will be provided by credit call or credit put spreads where you can define exactly at the beginning what's maximum risk, maximum chance, and makes it very easy to um, calculate um, how much uh, or how big you can um, open this position um, uh, related to your risk. Short strangle, short straddle is something I also added here for a few things. We can also um, add this um, if you're like having some more knowledge in option trading. Um, but I don't want to recommend to uh, any beginner to work with like a short strangle or short straddle. It's at the end selling a call and a put option at the same time. Um, straddle with the same strike price, strangle with some different strike prices. But for some indices, uh, it might also work because indices, we know there's no earnings, not that big gap normally what we see in, in, um, in um, yeah, single stocks. Um, but um, also here we will have uh, some examples later how you can use um, options. I think I mentioned a few um, ideas already in the last um, seminars for the ETF and how to um, create a stock portfolio. Uh, which you can also see, uh, see on our YouTube um, channel. So um, there will be more examples um, later um, after this presentation. Yeah, risk um, reward ratio um, or chance risk. Uh, um, it's like um, credit spreads, um, for example, we will only open them with a maximum um, um, risk reward ratio with one to four. It's just easy if you want to earn like one dollar, you just have to risk maximum fraud. This maybe sounds for someone who is not familiar with options quite high. I will explain it later um, because you um, have a very high probability with um, option selling that you um, um, gain the maximum profit and this is like 78% um, of all options uh, normally expires uh, without any value and this is something uh, this probability um, um, we we will need this um, to uh, create our credit spreads or and uh, as we know this we know we will have like 78% winning trades and then we can use this um, ratio because at the end if you know there will be only maximum 20% of our um, spreads, which will be a, not a winning trade from the probability. We can use this chance, um, I'm sorry, this risk reward ratio um, to have like a positive um, performance at the end. And um, also for, um, for entering the market, um, like I said in the beginning, there should, uh, you can use uh, short puts. With exit scenario, if the strike price is reached, on the other hand side, um, also if you want to buy the um, stock, you can just um, um, yeah leave it like it is without closing it. Um, and if it, the price goes below your strike price, what I will also give you an example uh, later, you will just have um, the share in your position, the stock in your position and your portfolio, sorry. And then in the next step, you can um, have it with a covered call, for example. Very important, um, maybe I should highlight this, um, um, 
no short calls. Um, to give you an example why this is the highest risk in an uh, option trading, um, let's say you buy um, AMD um, and uh, you sell a call option um, and um, AMD is I think now at the moment, I don't know, 30 or 40 dollars and uh, overnight there will be announcement that AMD is going together with another company and the um, price will jump up to 80. Then you're not covered, you can't do anything and uh, at the end um, you will have a really big loss. Um, also I've seen this in the past with some biotech um, stocks um, and this will really um, kill your portfolio and it's uh, the thing what you always have to um, avoid at the beginning if you start to um, trade in, uh, in options. Um, same with strangle and straddle um, um, strategies. I would recommend this um, in the beginning only on index ETFs, what not so volatile on maybe not having this big overnight gaps, um, what is also very important. And um, just to remember um, for every stock portfolio, I will also give you an example later um, to have like um, a really safe um, stop order. Let's say you buy like uh, Microsoft um, at, um, I think at the moment we are around $170 and you want to put a stop order um, for 160. And I don't know, something happened overnight and the market opens next day, 150, 140, then your stop order will only be executed at the price where the market opens. But you can use um, options, it's very important, to have really a safe stop, what will be executed, even if there's a gap, you have to pay a little uh, premium for this, but um, especially in this time, also on a um, um, stock portfolio, to have like um, really safe stop orders, what will be executed, um, no matter the, what the market will um, give you. Um, it's um, another really um, powerful instrument to, um, yeah, um, lower your risk and to have like a maximum risk what you can um, calculate at the beginning. These are things which we will all soon uh, see, see very soon in um, TWS and TradeStation where I give you a few examples for everything what we showed here in the presentation. And um, also here what we have um, some examples um, from yesterday. I will go over all these um, for symbols, you will see this um, later also on the TWS. So I think we can just go faster um, to the next slide so that we will um, have more time to do this all um, in the live market uh, situation at the moment. So the last topic what we had on the presentation is um, how to link it to current stock portfolio. Um, I think I mentioned it um, already twice. Um, existing share positions, uh, over 100 shares. Um, you can um, add covered calls. Um, I will also give you an example for this. And if you want to um, buy, for example, more stocks for an existing position or for like a um, new position, you can also do this uh, with short put options um, um, and also like um, with um, yeah, combining um, both of them. So, just a second. Um, Here we go. Um, I hope you can see all um, the chart um, in the TWS of American Airline. Um, as you all might see here, we have like um, prices. The lowest price was uh, beginning of April here, um, yeah, about $9. Um, now we are here at the $11, $11.03. $11 this is the price for um, the American Airlines stock um, listed in the S&P 500, uh, sorry, also in the Nasdaq, I think. Um, but to come back to what we had in our presentation, and we will also go later to um, the ETF um, and to the VIX um, index as well. 
what we had in our presentation, um, how can you participate for, with a short put option, for example? Um, let's make an example. You want to buy American airline with, uh, for $10. Um, you can place just this normal limit order and you can wait if this um, $10 will be reached in the next days and then your limit order will be filled um, so that um, you will have this position in your portfolio. And on the same way, we can do this uh, with an option and to check what we will gain, for example, um, if we do this instead of um, just placing a limit order, is um, very interesting at the moment. And that's exactly uh, what's the topic of the um, webinar, how you can participate of this high volatility um, environment, what we have at the moment. And um, I think this example will, ex yeah, will exactly show you um, what's the big benefit, what we normally don't have in other situations. We said we want to buy it for $10. You always see on your right hand side um, all put options um, should be in any um, trading app um, the same. Right is put and left we see call options. And here you have a bid and ask price so that you can exactly see for which price you can buy and sell it. And if we want to buy now, for example, um, or sorry, if you want to sell this uh, put option, we get $1.03. Um, Maybe if you place it in the middle of uh, bid and ask, $1.04, $1.05, see, it's also moving a little bit. So this is um, on 24 days, so less than one month. Um, it's more than 10% um, um, revenues or 10% um, premium what you get of the entry price of this um, 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 stock. So the stock um, you want to buy for $10 and you gain like $1.02 or 3 cent. And this is more than 10% um, of what you have, for example, um, as a value for, for the stock. And you see, um, if you just place a limit order, um, you will also get this uh, um, stock for $10. Um, but if you do it through, through an option, you can even um, gain a little bit more. Um, you just have to be um, sure if it's going um, deeper than this, uh, you will be always executed to the strike price what you choose in the beginning. So for example, if it's going down to nine, your stock position will be executed to 10. But this premium, um, no matter what will happen, um, will be always um, um, be in your um, cash balance. So even if it's not going below 10, you will always uh, keep this um, $1 and uh, three or four cents per share. And uh, this in any situation, if it's going below, if it's staying higher, um, just if it's staying above this $10, you will not get this uh, um, stock. This is the, the big difference. Uh, but otherwise, it's uh, really a big, big benefit if you want to have a uh, position at a moment to do it with a short put option. Just always remember, um, it's very important that you um, I want to buy a minimum 100 shares. If you just want to buy five or 10, then you should not do it in option because it's not possible here. Okay, sorry. Um, and the same what we had with for covered call, for example. Um, let's go back to the covered call. Let's um, say we already have a, a American airline um, in our portfolio um, and we we bought it maybe for $11 now, or I don't know, it, at the end it doesn't matter for which price you will um, um, buy it. But if you are having an ex uh, existing position, it shows some more prices. And we want to sell it, for example, for $13. Um, this is... Um, see on our left hand side $13 we go to call options and now you can see $13 uh, you get 75 cent per share so for 100 stocks it's $75 for 24 um, days and also you have to um, calculate this again how much is this in percentage on the value what you are having at the moment so if we go to the calculator um, and we say we bought um, American Airline for $11. We just take this 75 cents, divided by 11, and it's 6.8% in 24 days. 6.8% um, um, premium 
what you get on top of your stock position. And if you really have like a dividend um, share, what's like giving you um, five or six percent dividends every year, on top of this, you can earn a lot with um, um, revenues with um, premium from options. Um, so for existing stocks, um, if you write a call option, what can happen um, if it goes um, above $13, then you have to sell it for the strike price, what you, uh, what you said here. But also make sure uh, you always have the ability to roll an option. So if you see, okay, um, $13 might be reached, I can um, go in the next month to June, July, and uh, choose a higher strike price because time gives you always um, higher revenues, higher premium. So it's really important to know the right um, situation when to roll an option because then it's, uh, it's a great time at the moment um, to get like premiums from um, um, stock options. And this is what people do with existing stock portfolio if they still have these um, stocks, even they lost maybe a lot um, um, or they have a big open um, loss for existing positions. This is the time where they really earn um, great premiums um, with uh, call options on existing stocks or if they want to buy some more shares with a premium on um, short puts or put writing and you can see it in percentage. We, we didn't even choose uh, one month and we are talking here um, 7.5 as uh, sorry 6.8% um, or like 10% uh, if you go to the downside. So this is a really um, great time to um, get um, big premiums from um, options. And if you have a small portfolio, um, just to give you another example, and you might say, okay, um, yeah, with $10, I don't know if I want to um, really get 100 shares of American Airline because nobody knows if it's going down to eight, six. Um, I don't know. Um, the future will show it, uh, but you can also play it in a little bit uh, different way. And that's exactly what was showing in the presentation with credit spreads. Credit spreads means the same what we had. We can sell a put option. Uh, we get now here $1.06, $1.07. You see it's always um, changing a bit. And to make it a little bit more secure, secured, um, we will buy a put option um, for nine. So um, what can happen if the price really um, drops that much that it goes to seven, six, um, we will not get this um, um, share or this um, stock American airline for 10 because we have like this, I call it airbag, the safety um, here at nine. We will just lose the difference between um, both um, strike prices. So the difference between both strike prices is $1. Um, $1 is the maximum risk. And uh, from this maximum risk, you always have to deduct your um, um, premium. The premium here is, um, as you can see, 37 cents for the moment. So what does it mean? We have a premium of 37 cent. We have a difference of the both strike prices of $1. So you have to deduct this from this $1 and you get like 63 cents as uh, maximum risk. And this is exactly what was shown in the presentation. Um, it's really good to have uh, to know in the beginning what's your maximum reward and what's your maximum risk. Um, so here in this case, we have a risk reward ratio from one to two. We can earn like one dollar and we can lose maximum two dollar and this is only in the worst case scenario um, what only happens at the end of the expiration so um, normally if i um, yeah, check all my trades in the past the maximum risk for a credit spread um, yeah, maybe happened once with 100 trades because if i see it's going below nine i can still close the position with a lower risk but it's a really nice way to make sure that you can not lose more than uh, what you calculated in the beginning. And this is, is a brilliant way to do it with this uh, credit spreads and in both sides. You can do it uh, either with the credit put spreads as credit call spreads. And I know here in this presentation, we have just a small time um, um, to present this. But as I already said, in May, we have deeper um, or longer seminars, uh, which we will present with more detail, with documentation about all these uh, things because it needs a little bit training, some more information. And um, as I already told you in the beginning, the chance will um, still be there. I don't think anything will go back to normal in the next uh, few weeks. So there's still a high chance uh, with a high volatility in the future. And uh, if you want to still be nah, 
taking your chance uh, in this situation. I think uh, credit spreads for the beginning is, even for smaller portfolios, a really smart way um, to um, have this um, yeah, great premium, um, but with a maximum risk, what you can calculate from the beginning. And I can explain it the same on the um, credit call spread. Um, for this, um, I want to show you um, what we discussed um, as a second point in the presentation. Um, it's the ETF. Maybe let's check first the chart for this ETF. You can see it here. This was um, in the middle of March where we uh, really went um, up to a really high volatile market. Now, the last days, it goes all a little bit down. And I mean, we all don't know, but at the moment, it looks like maybe the second hit um, is uh, coming soon. We have at least two days where the um, uh, volatility is uh, going up a little bit. And what is really smart, also, if you go back in the past, maybe for this ETF, you don't have this long past what you can um, see in the chart, but for the um, index, um, so check the index, you have like a longer period of time. Oh, sorry. Let's make it a little bit smaller. You can also check this on uh, different websites. Uh, you will always see this is the normal range between like 10 and um, 17. Uh, for this, it will take really long until we see maybe this uh, um, level again. But what we all seen um, in 2008 and 2001 with all the um, um, really high volatility markets, what we had in the past, when it went up, it will always um, go down. Um, nobody knows how long it will take to go down on a normal level what we had in the last year. But what we definitely know, if it reaches like peaks, um, like 80, 80, I think was also 85, the highest uh, value what we had in uh, 2008, uh, the financial crisis. And here's very smart uh, to come back to this um, topic of uh, credit call spreads. Um, because in these um, products, you can um, yeah you can buy a put option to say it's going down. Um, you can also, if you have the chance, to just short sell um, the ETF, the ETN itself. But this is um, something what I will never recommend um, because with option, as I said, you know your chance, you know your risk, so it's a, a bit smarter way. And um, if we Assume, for example, to stay here on this um, ETF. Let's say we had like here the highest price on 80, um, and nobody thinks uh, that we will have of the end of uh, by the end of the year still um, uh, some high level of 80. Maybe we will stay here between 30 and 50, or maybe 60. Um, this is a range what maybe um, you can also see it in the past with other um, crises. Uh, it will go always down from, from the peaks uh, what we had in the past. And uh, how can you use this now for an uh, option strategy um, in terms of credit call spreads? We will also go here to our option trader um, and we will choose really some kind of longer expiration date. Let's really go back to December, for example, what is... Um, still quite far away but to show you an example how we can set up a trade i will just choose a few strike prices on that high level so at the moment it is at $47. So let's say at the end of the year, we assume it will go not higher than $65. Um, um, so what we can do, we can sell um, this call option of 65 And just to make sure if it's, I don't know for what reason, um, will be on a really high um, level, we will buy an um, option on $70. 
You can also do this on a shorter expiration day, uh, but it will exactly be the same uh, model what we had for American Airline. The difference of this um, two strike prices is five dollar, and now we are coming to the maximum um, risk reward ratio five dollar. What we will gain um, if we open this position, it might be not so fancy because the expiration is quite long. We can set this up maybe for 90 cents. So what we will do, we will deduct this 90 cents from um, the $5 because then you have your maximum risk, what is $4.10. And if you take this and set it in a ratio to the 90 cents, what's your maximum premium? You will see it's lower than one to four. It's a little bit lower, um, but this is exactly what makes this uh, position so smart. You can know from the beginning what's your chance risk uh, reward, and you can play this um, even on um, yeah two three weeks uh, um, options. Um, there's a lot of um, uh, ways where you can um, do this, for example. And uh, just to give you another example for the short straddle and strangle to make it not too complicated, just to um, the last example what we have here because that was something what we did when we saw that the uh, volatility is going slightly um, um, back to a normal level. Um, what we did, we sold a call and a put option on, um, on a $60 basis. Um, $60 basis. And we got such a high premium for this. It was $24 premium. So what does it mean? You take this um, strike price and then you have the range strike price plus your premium, what was $24, and strike price minus your premium. Then you have exactly your break-even range. And here in this case, it was 84. So almost exactly the highest price and below it was uh, 36 so we had a perfect range um, where we are with a high probability that we gain as much as possible of course the highest um, benefit the highest profit you will have at the expiration date if it's um, nearly 60 but these are all smart um, ways where you can participate of this really high um, volatility in uh, index itself in the etf itself and um, but I just give you here as very short examples. Uh, we can really go deeply into it um, in our upcoming um, seminars um, in May, uh, because um, we will uh, not only use this in a situation uh, what we have now in the moment. At the moment, you can also use this um, for the future to protect your portfolio, because um, normally VIX is. Um, like you see here on a really low level, as soon as something happens in the market, uh, it will show you uh, or it will give you some um, um, some benefit to protect your portfolio because when you have a lot of stock positions, um, um, they will all go down and you will have a big open loss. These um, call options on a um, VIX index can really help you to protect at least some, some of your um, existing portfolio. And at the moment, it's a um, nice way to play because um, with this um, index and ETFs, uh, you have the chance uh, to both sides um, to get some um, extra um, performance. Because um, if you look on the chart um, in the past, um, as I said, it's uh, some things are really obvious. Uh, it's just um, the, the idea how to set it up right. And I think credit calls spread is one point. But on the other hand side, also if it's on a high level, like we had it here, um, and you see it's slightly going down, a just simple put option can also help you to benefit from a situation like this. So I hope um, you got some ideas of these um, short examples, um, what we had as well was um, the credit spreads with the risk reward ratio. I think I explained it twice with um, American Airline and uh, now with the ETN uh, um, on the volatility as well. And uh, maybe we can make another example for um, 
some uh, symbol stock. If you would like to see something or interested in a particular stock, uh, you can also use the chat function to tell me any stock, but I want to take maybe one of the um, financial industry, AMD. Now, today, um, one of the bigger losers here, here in the NASDAQ, 8% minus. It was with uh, $57. Let's say um, we will play it here um, a bit far from the price. I want to buy AMD for $40. Um, yeah. I can place a limit order here, same as American airline. Maybe it will never happen. I will never get this price. Um, so I can wait for the next few weeks or if it really goes down um, and I'm lucky, I get this um, um, this um, share or this stock for $40. So what do you think if I check um, the option for the same period of time for one month, how much in percentage uh, will we get from um, um, selling a put option on $40? Will we even get anything? Maybe it should be um, zero cent um, or nothing. Um, let's have a look and um, maybe then from the chart, you can understand it's a really a good chance at the moment to use this um, um, even if we see it percentage-wise comparing to uh, the actual price. So AMD, we have to select 40. That's also something you will not see all the strike prices normally at the beginning. So you have to select this here in the TWS. We go to 15 um, of May. So it's far away from um, being nothing. It's still 74 um, cents. Um, so let's say if nothing happens, you just have um, $75 more on your portfolio um, if it stays above 40. And instead of buying, uh, just setting a limit order, I think this example also explains it very clear. Um, that's an easy way to um, get some more benefit for your portfolio. So, and then we had some examples from yesterday, um, what I also showed in the presentation uh, with three different um, stocks and we also want to see them and maybe find some um, way also to use this. One was the financial ETF XXLF. Um, it's also down with 3% today. Um, we saw a big call option um, yesterday coming through um, on target of 25. So just to show you how you can um, see this information. twenty because um, this is also a smart way um, what you have to um, um, know about options uh, open interest um, because um, if you are honest in a um, stock position you can check the volume of course now all the stocks have a really high volume but mostly the volumes also coming from um, automated trading system which are buying and selling some of them in the high frequency uh, trading uh, sector they will buy and sell in, in like uh, in a couple of seconds so a volume in the stock itse itself will not really help you to analyze uh, um, something but in options uh, it's something else because you know normally call options somebody is um, um, yeah um, betting on um, that the stock is um, going up or put options um, going down but also you can see exactly how much positions are still open because the open interest will give you an example how much positions are still open in the market and then uh, you will see like where's the biggest volume where are the biggest bets um, for which strike prices and here we have uh, 23 this is something what we also created a um, um, scanning tool where you can scan all the markets for institutional money, what's going in. Um, we always check every position, uh, what is like higher than 1 million um, per trade. And uh, then we want to see it's an opening position. Are there some positions are closed? Um, and all this information um, you can easily analyze here in, um, um, in TradeStation or TWS and in option trading because in stocks, um, yeah, with all this high frequency trading and automated trading system, 
it's not possible to analyze. Um, it needs some more time to understand uh, what uh, possibilities you have in option trading, but I think this is the right time to take the chance, if you have the time, of course, um, to study a little bit more, because um, as I said, um, this high volatility um, environment, we will still see it um, over the summer, um, at least, um, and before we go back to really low levels, what we had last year, it will really take some more months. Um, maybe we will even um, take one or two years to come back uh, to the same level or um, more than this, um, but it will not go back so soon. I'm pretty sure about it. So the other one, what we had was uh, um, um, one stock from healthcare industry. Um, I think I also told you this in a, one of the previous um, webinars. You have to check here um, one really easy website with all the information, what's called finvis.com. Um, and um, the second symbol, what I want to show you is uh, OPK, uh, OPK um, some biotech um, um, stock. What went up a lot in the last uh, few weeks since beginning of April, we almost um, it almost doubled its value. You can see it's um, yeah the um, stock itself is super um, high volatility, um, but it also gives you a great chance to play the same what we did here with the um, some option strategy. Um, let's have a look on uh, the chart. Before we are running out of time. Um, so it's listed exactly at two dollars, one dollar and ninety-eight cent. Um, and yeah, as it already went up the last few days, I would say maybe I would prefer to have it for one dollar fifty or on a lower price. I don't know. Um, so same model what we had for our last um, um, option. Let's see here, you get. 20 cents per share, so $20 on an um, put option on $1.50. So when I really want to buy it like 25% uh, uh, cheaper than the price is now, if it's going down, I mean, uh, if it's not going down, I will not get it anyway. If I place a limit order or if I do it for option, it's uh, both um, um, not giving you the, uh, the stock itself. But it's um, some really smart way um, and 20 cents comparing to the price, yeah. I think I can put it to the calculator, but you will realize this is um, um, uh, two digits percentage, what we get in a um, yeah, little bit more than three weeks. And this is a performance uh, on top of the um, share, what you will have, uh, what's really like a high, um, a high premium. And if you want to go like a little bit more aggressive in the market and just want to make sure that you really get this um, um, stock, you can choose. You can also go to two dollars. It's giving you forty cents, um, at least minimum forty cents. And if you compare it to the price itself, what's two dollar? It's much smarter maybe to buy it uh, through a put option um, instead of just buying it here because um, you already earned forty cents, and forty cents gives you the break-even. It's also a very smart, uh, easy calculation. Your strike price. What was your premium? So your break even is one dollar sixty. So you agree? I mean, if it's uh, going up to three dollar, of course, then um, you will not have the big benefit. You will just stay with your forty cents, what you um, get as a premium. You will not get a share um, because it's uh, higher than the two dollar than your strike price. But if it stays here, one ninety, one eighty, whatever, um, I I will still have um, this um, stock in my portfolio. I will get this um, premium. And I mean, at the moment, um, I would prefer just to create premiums from um, um, selling options if I have some um, good ideas for um, stocks like this one. Um, because as uh, long as I don't have this um, stock, I'm not in a, in a risk position. If I just collect premium and it's expiring in uh, three weeks, then I can do the same with another stock. So um, there are so many examples at the moment where you can have a really high premium. Uh, of course, you have to investigate um, what exactly is uh, this company doing. But um, the last step um, you should always consider um, to do it um, with an option. And this is um, here, I think, not 
a bad deal because um, 100 shares um, it's um, 200 dollars um, and uh, if you get like uh, 40 dollars um, on top of it um, why not trying it uh, with an um, option um, here on OPK. OPK, sorry. I think, um, yeah, this example, we can make a last one, what we had from yesterday. Um, and also, don't forget, um, this stock here, I mean, um, it's having its own use, but if you compare it to the whole market condition, um, we can see it very easily here in uh, Finvis. Today, there's nothing. Maybe we have here two, three big um, stocks what still are green. The rest is really um, um, going down a lot. We have almost everywhere 3% minus, and this stock um, is still staying on a really good level. So uh, um, I think this is also some um, um, yeah, some um, good um, thing at the moment if you find a stock what is going in a market condition and not correlated uh, with the whole market down um, uh, instead of like staying on the price level what we exactly have here and this stock already had like a um, a small gap at the beginning it opened at ten dollar and nine or ten dollar and ten cent so it was even in profit uh, or in um, yeah in um, above the closing price from yesterday, sorry. So yeah, the last one, what I brought you from yesterday is an, a little bit bigger stock, also from the market capitalization, it's um, SQ, um, where we also found like um, some high um, uh, option volume yesterday, and uh, here's exactly the same. Um, if you have a chance to check the option um, and the option prices, you will find almost everywhere now um, prices uh, five, six percent for three, four weeks expiration. Um, so um, please make sure if you want to create some uh, long-term portfolio that you of course choose first your your stocks itself um, and then um, try to go deeper in this uh, um, um, put writing and how to create a portfolio with this uh, um, selling of put options. And um, as I said um, in the beginning, we will follow up in May with a much more deeper and detailed um, presentation regarding all these topics um, and um, also with like PDF uh, documentation for all the um, necessary things what you need to know because I know this is nothing what you will learn in uh, like just one hour or with a um, YouTube video. Um, there needs to be um, some more detailed um, documentation and what we also would like to um, um, do is um, our um, weekly webinar where we exactly show you um, stocks like what we had now here SQ or like also OPK um, with our um, option screener with this uh, really high institutional um, trades which we can find out um, for every day um, in the market. I mean Mainly they are like big positions on Apple and um, other ETFs, what's on normal, but it's, uh, I think, um, really important to have a look between the lines where we can see other um, stocks what are not so um, frequ frequently traded in this high positions. Um, so also um, for beginners, it might be helpful to attend this uh, weekly webinars uh, with our chat forum where we um, explain all the details, different setups, because um, as you might already seen in this small presentation um, we can't benefit only from uh, one side we are just you know just like um, uh, discussing short put options or selling of put options um, but there are so many other ways with credit spreads with straddles with strangles and to uh, get the benefit of the whole portfolio of option strategies of course this will uh, take much longer uh, but for the beginning um, i would always recommend uh, to start with like short Good covered call and credit spreads and um, this we will um, teach you step by step. Um, all this information uh, will be um, find on our website or also on our YouTube channel. Um, just for the next week what I will also recommend um, for you our last um, webinar for April. Um, you will find the, de the dates on the trade station calendar as well as um, of course on our website itself. It's um, 
on the 13th of April, um, cash versus margin account. Um, what is the benefit? What is the disadvantage uh, if you have a cash account? What you have to be aware of, especially in cash accounts, there are a few things what people, I think, in the beginning might not know, and then they are wondering why this is not um, um, tradable or why I have to wait one or two weeks before my cash is still available or again available for trading. So um, we will give you a really detailed overview um, what you have to check and then you can also always decide to go back to a cash account, to go um, back to a margin account. This is something what you can also set up in your client portal. So I think this is um, for um, new accounts, a very useful um, topic at the beginning. And what is also the risk to have a margin account? Um, because I think in the beginning, this is something what people don't know, why they choose cash account. And uh, that's why we decided to give you a detailed overview um, with all the examples, what you can do and what you have to be aware of. So thank you for your attention. Um, our details you find here with phone number, email, and um, also our website. If you have seen this presentation on um, our YouTube channel, please feel free um, and uh, like our video or subscribe to our channel to not miss out anything um, in the future. And feel free to ask um, all your questions um, here. I'm still able to answer this in the next 10 minutes. Um, just use the chat function on your right hand side. And uh, I hope to welcome you again in the next week in our next um, webinar.